In this quick tips video, we're going to be looking at changing the canvas size and the image size. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is look at changing the canvas size. So we have these nodes in the corner. If we select and drag them, we can move and adjust the positioning of the canvas. If we click OK, this is going to change the canvas size. Notice the width and height over here will change based off of our selection. Let's go ahead and undo that. Now, if we choose image size, this is going to do something different. This is going to change the entire image and we can position this a little bit different, but that's not going to have an effect. So image size here, if we want to change this, we can do that manually or we can drag these nodes here in the corner. If we want to change the image size and the aspect ratio, we can uncheck lock ratio. Notice that we can pull in shrink and transform the shape of this image. We're going to choose lock ratio and then adjust it a little bit larger. And notice that there are three options in here for units. So we have pixels, centimeters, and inches. We're going to choose inches and let's bring this down to four and this will keep the aspect ratio the same. Notice that we have a much smaller image. Let's click OK. You notice the resolution has changed on the image because we have NanoPixel turned on. We can see a lot of that texture is still visible. In order to really see the difference in the image quality, we're going to turn off NanoPixel. And here you can see the individual pixels making up his eyebrow and his eyelashes here. Let's go ahead and turn NanoPixel back on. Now, if you're changing the DPI, you want to keep in mind that you're going to need to set this to pixels. Let's go ahead and increase the DPI to 400 and let's click OK. That's how to change the canvas and image size in Rebel 5. In the next video, we're going to be looking at flipping the canvas. So stay tuned. That video will show up right now.